G'day. Here's something I've been working on lately. Um, as you can see, my power meter is running in the wrong direction. It's pretty cool. I'll show you what I've done. Installed some solar. All the equipment I've bought has come from X installs, uh, including the inverter, the DC isolator, the solar panels, which I'll <clears throat> put a picture in in a minute, um, and other bits and bobs. We've got it plugged directly into an air conditioning circuit, which is no longer used uh, because the air conditioner no longer works and because that power point is on the other side of the safety switches. So if something was to happen, someone's touched something, um, the safety switches will still protect the rest of the power points, just not this one. But this one's for solar anyway and it's not to be used. We've got another proper double GPO that's connected through the safety switches for general use, so it's all good. I'll have a look inside the inverter and see what I've been doing. Okay, this is the inside of that inverter. It's a proper grid tie that was used in a previous 1500 watt install. Uh, purchased second hand off eBay, along with the DC isolator, the five solar panels that are on the roof and everything like that. Uh, with a few small additions. Uh, one is this 5 volt power supply. Um, which triggers this relay switch on a magnetic reed switch which I installed on the meter box uh, so that when Mr. Electric Man comes along to uh, check my meter when he opens the box, trips this out instantly the meter stops spinning in the wrong direction, they notice no difference um, because yeah, I, I, there's a bit of a grey area into where, whether or not you can have these um, on the old meters <clears throat> and I prefer to have my solar payback at 1 to 1 than the 8 cents that they like to pay back in Queensland these days so yeah, this is my nice little setup um, the way this works, you've got your solar panels which run, I've got running along that lead there goes into the DC isolator which isolates both um, positive and negative on separate switches all at the same time, they're ganged. Uh, runs down into these connects here, which then go into the inverter. Now, the only other change I made was this connector here. I couldn't get, it didn't come with it. This is the AC connector. So I've put a 240 volt plug um, straight on to the terminals that are just behind here um, which I've since moved on to this relay switch to turn it on and off um, that's a double pole, double throw um, basically it can be either normally open or normally closed depending on how you set it up um, I've got that rigged up to <clears throat> from the 5 volt supply through that lead there comes all the way along here and goes up to this reed switch that when it opens just connects, closes, reconnects so uh, there's a there's a delay of about a minute <clears throat> once this is closed before the meter starts reactivating or oh, before the inverter reactivates and the meter starts doing what it does um, really just so I, ha I can hide it because <sighs> Yeah, it, it, it's in some countries you're allowed to do this without any questions whatsoever. Uh, in Australia, it's very grey area because they don't want you to do this. Um, I, I believe it's to maintain their own profits and things like that. I mean, it may be for other reasons for safety. I don't know. Um, but installed properly, like this is, um, it can't kill anyone. Uh, it's perfectly safe. The cable runs up through a conduit into the roof space um, it's, it's more for rentals and things like that because rentals can't really buy into the solar market themselves so you've got somewhere in the order of what is it 30 to 50 percent of the Australian 
population unable to do something about their energy costs. So this is my idea of you know getting around it. Um, it, it does work. I mean, I'll, I'll plug this in now. Let's get that plugged in there. Connect with DC. Hello, phone. So yeah, as you, as you can see, there's a time delay from the AC being connected for it to start working. And watch this. If I open this door, disconnect grid, and it'll shut down if it doesn't come back, which is pretty cool. So, go back. It's a bit windy today. Reclose it. And then yeah, it starts counting down before it comes live again. It's just to hide it, pretty much. Um, but it, it's all braked, it's all connected up the way it's supposed to be, so I don't see any issues with that. Um, the only one would be the legalities of it, which is why you can't see the numbers on my power meter. Anyway, um, hope you found this interesting. Have fun. See ya.